Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video and today we are going to discuss about how to get more number of calls while you are searching for job. Now we are discussing specifically about Nokri portal today and I'll tell you some simple tricks which will help you to increase your search appearances visibility in Nokri. So I'm getting a lot of queries in LinkedIn where people are asking questions like we are updating the profiles every day, we are changing the resume, but we are not getting calls. So there are certain things you are doing wrong. There are some simple tricks that you need to use in order to make sure that your visibility increases. So I did a little experiment recently and I've increased my visibility to this. So you can see this is a too much in 90 days, but it is not within 90 days. It is last, I can say within a week or two, I was getting more number of calls after I did some optimization in my knock portal. And I got call almost from every type of company, whether it is service-based, consulting, or product. So I got call from service-based companies like Hexaware, TCS, Capgemini, uh, Wipro, HCL, you name it, I got it. Again, from consulting companies like KPMG, PwC, JPMC, EY, K uh, Deloitte, everything, right? And from product companies like Samsung, R&D, Sony. So you need to keep in mind that you have to do some simple tricks in order to make it work. So without any delay, I'll show it to you in my profile live. Okay, so this is my Nokri profile. Now you can see I have almost 13,000 search appearances and 521 recruiter actions in last 90 days. Now, if you think it is within 90 days, I'll say no. Now I have changed the filter to 30 days. You can see it is 11,000 in last 30 days. And if I scroll down in the bar, you can see it was around 1,000 in the last week of June, almost 2,000 in the last week of June but it has increased to 8,000 in this week. So you can see this is June 27 to July 04, right? Now, if I change it to seven days, you will see the visibility per day is more than 1,000. Now, this is weekend. This is why this is, you see this as 40 in Sunday. But on Monday, it went to 1,200. And again, it has come to 1,400 in around on 4th July, which was yesterday. Okay, so it is almost 67% greater than the last week. So what did I change which increased the visibility so much? I'll show it to you right away. So once you are in your profile in Nokri, the first thing you need to do is make sure your profile is 100% complete. And how would you know that? You can see this green bar here says 100. It means your profile is 100% complete. Now, when is your profile 100% complete? When you open a Nokri profile, it will automatically ask you some questions like uh, verify your phone number, email address, give me your current organization, what is your resume and all sort of things. And you provide it and it will complete the profile. Once your profile is 100% complete, then you need to do some simple changes in order to make it work. So I'll show you those changes. So the first important change is the resume. Now, once you upload your resume, make sure your resume has an updated year in the end. Why this is so? Now, this does not make any significance difference. But whenever a recruiter sees the resume, he will see it 2024. It means he will think in his mind that this is the latest resume, right? So if you don't put a number there, it creates a little bit of illusion, but sometimes when you put a number there, it concretes the proof saying this is the latest resume. So this is what you need to do. Just put a year in the end, which is the latest year, so that your resume looks like it is the latest one. Now, within the resume, what you need to do? So if you see this, this is my resume. Now, if you see, this is quite simple and this is what you need to do. Do not make any font, color and all sort of stuff. Just make it simple. You can see this is as simple as possible. I have my phone number and email at the top, total work experience here, and you, then all the work experience follows, right? So whatever is my work experience, then the skills and the tools, and you can find almost all the tool and skill that I have. I have mentioned it here, then the certifications, and in the last, I have the education, right? You can put the links for your portfolios, LinkedIn or blogs that you have, but this is the simplest form of resume you need to create. Make sure your resume is max of one page. If that can be done, that would be better. And you put whatever is required, you put it in bulleted points. There is no need of making any other fonts. You can use Times New Roman. So this whole resume is built up on Times New Roman and that too of font size around 10 or 11. Okay. So this is the simplest way you need to create a resume. Do not make it some fancy resume. Simple resume works. Now, once you have updated your resume, the next important thing is resume headline. Now you can see this bar here, resume headline, right? When I edit this, you don't need to put some text here. Make it as simple as possible with the keywords that is relevant. So if you see, I've just put it the first line as senior Azure data engineer. And the second line is my skills. Almost all the skills that I have, I put it here. So I have Python, Spark and whatever is my relevant skill, I put it here. And then the cloud expertise and in the end, my portfolio. There is no text statement here. 
it is all keywords and that is what you need to do so whenever nokri algorithm search something it looks for keywords and that is where it will look for your keyword it will look into the resume headline the next important thing you need to do is the key skills so if you see here i put all the relevant key skill that i have and that is what you need to do you need to add all your key skills here as whatever you are working recently just add your key skill here because this will help for the search whenever a recruiter search and this will help for in order to get those keywords for your skills okay and once you are done with your skills you have to update your employment data that is all important you will do that and the education data right so we are all done now what is the most important thing here now i'll scroll up to the top now the important thing you need to do in order to get more number of calls is go to your profile and in the end you will see notice period now there might be case you are not in notice period or you might be serving notice period but what i'll tell you is make sure you select serving notice period whenever you will select service notice period and you put a last working date now if you see i put it two months later right it's september 4 but still i'm getting calls okay now usually recruiters use terms like serving notice period and all now if you make it two months three months that will not give you much result now, i made it three months earlier i did not get so many results but when I changed it to serving notice period along with the date, doesn't matter if you're not serving notice period, make sure this date is at least two or three months later, whatever is your notice period date. Okay. And then you save it, but make sure you select serving notice period. Do not make it 15 days, one month, two months, three months. Okay. Make it serving notice period and select your expected last working days. That's three months later or two months later, whatever it is. Now, once you get a call and you are selected, then you can obviously ne negotiate about your notice period, right? But till then, the importance is to get the calls. So make sure you select serving notice period and you add the expected date along with it. Now, this is all the things that you need to do. The first one is make sure you change it to serving notice period. The second one is make sure you update your resume and put at least the year in the name of the resume. And the third point is your resume headline. Make sure you add all the relevant skills in the key skills and the resume headline. Okay. Do not put any fancy text. Rather put the skills directly. It will help as a keyword. Now, the last point is Nokri tracks your activity. If I go to my profile performance and I click on this, it sees your activity level. So whenever you log in or whenever you change anything, it actually refreshes your profile. So the best way to do is just go back to your resume remove the resume once in a week and re-upload the same resume and that is what i did so whenever i uploaded my resume again after deleting it it increased my profile view and that is what i have seen so whenever you make any change your activity level increases and it makes you more visible okay so if i go to my profile visibility you can see thirty thousand calls and this is all because of the activity level that you have is very high and that is what you need to do you have to regularly log in at least in a week delete your resume and re-upload it or make some changes in the key skill or resume headline profile. Okay, make some changes in order to make your profile relevant. Now, along with this, you also need to grow up your skill because getting calls is important, but along with that, you have to clear interviews, right? So, for example, if you are looking into learn data engineering, for example, PySpark, you can go to this playlist in the YouTube channel Ease with Data. Now, I have this channel created. I'll show you my channel. And this is the playlist what I'm talking about. It covers everything from basics till the advanced performance optimization. You can see it here. It is uh, having AQE, fixed QNS, dynamic resource, joints optimization, everything. Okay. Now, in the same YouTube channel, we'll find a data warehousing concept as well. It covers everything from basics. Again, Spark streaming. So it is from the beginning from Spark streaming till whatever is required for you to clear an interview. So this covers almost everything in data engineering for Spark and for data warehousing. So this is the channel that you need to go, which is YouTube is with data. Okay, this is the channel. I hope this will benefit you and you'll get more number of calls. Once you get it, please make sure that you let me know in my LinkedIn profile or on the comments in the YouTube video so that I know that you got benefited with it. So thank you very much. Keep learning, keep growing and keep sharing.